you want to make planter baskets like these, stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Cedric and welcome to my channel Vertigo117. Okay, so what you'll need for this build is plants. I went for kaffir lilies, the pink ones. You can put a lot of different uh, plants in it. Hydrogranulates or clay balls. And a pot to put everything in. Preferably with a lot of holes in the bottom. Okay, so the easiest way to clean out your clay pebbles is scoop some in, you know, the planter baskets. Rinse out the clay barrels properly. You can see you need to shake them a bit to get everything out. Don't want this in your water guys. It will stay in the water like hell. Continue until you have enough to put in your planter baskets. Then what you do, take all the plants out of the potting and it will be hard because there are a lot of roots on it and the goal is to rinse off all the dirt then you rinse off all the dirt get all of the mud out you just want the bare roots and get as much as soil out of it especially when you're planting uh, to get those uh, algae out of your pond because the dirt will add more algae to your pond the soil will add more algae And you can do for a lot of different plants, guys. Just need to use your head a bit. Don't take plants that become too big. And don't worry if the roots start to grow out of it from underneath. No problem, eh, guys. Here we go. Five other ones to go. So quickly, why would you want to get rid of all the soil? Well, um, it's packed with fertilizer, guys. Uh, they add fertilizer to make the plants go bigger and bigger. So what you want to do is get all the soil off and you want the plants to thrive on the nutrition from the pond. Nothing else. That's how you keep uh, algae down. Okay, so these are the planting pots that I went with. Uh, just need to pop off this bottom. See, it's not needed in the pond. And what's good with this one is you have a bunch of holes in the bottom, as you can see. And that's where all the water will come in, as well as the roots will come through it. Uh, don't worry guys. Um, doesn't matter for the plants that the roots come out the koi can even nibble the roots 
it's not too too big of a problem and I went with a planter that already has the um, hook on it so that it's easier to put in the water uh, get out uh, you have them where it's separately so you have a uh, metal with uh, plastic coated things I'm not so for that I prefer to have everything in one so that it's easier okay and now once you've got your panther box with all the holes in it just add everything together put in a bottom of a bottle uh, a little I'm going for three capture lilies per pot. As you can see, three, one, two, three. Now don't be afraid to mix, guys. Just think about how big the plant will become. Uh, it's no use to put an elephant here in something like this. Um, you can go for capture lily, uh, skirpus, uh, what else, marigolds. Um, I wouldn't go for horsetail, horsetail rust, horse, no that's not horsetail rust, you can put those as well in, um, it's the other one, kind of forgot the name, hang on, I wouldn't put in reed mace or something like that, you know, with the big, uh, becomes too big for this pot, so, um, yes, yeah, smaller, Flower, smaller plants would be the best option. Okay. Going to add the clay balls. And I'll get you guys again when I finished this all off. Okay, so a quick update on the box filter. Still good plants. Uh, I already added some irises that I propagated from my garden as well as some horsehair rush that I propagated from my, my um, pond. And these are some uh, narrow leafed, um, hang on, narrow leafed reed mace. And those I'm going to plant in that side of the Filter. Now you might be able to see I added uh, another layer of uh, stones because the water was visible and all the mosquitoes could get in, lay their eggs, as well as when leaves from the trees fall on it, if there's a bit of wind they, they will easier take off uh, to have less of a work on it, let's call it that. Okay, so I'm going to plant those. Okay, so here's a quick tip. Uh, if you plant your plants, guys, they might um, melt away or they might start to get brown like these. Don't throw them out. Uh, let them in. Let them the time to acclimate. They come from another place where it's uh, more sunny, uh, less wind, more wind. Uh, a lot of factor factors change. So leave them in. They will have to adapt and they will grow strongly afterwards. So don't worry, leave them in, let them adapt and all will be good. And there you have it, all done. Just uh, need to put them in the pond and everything is good. Now in a year, maybe two, uh, this, these whole planter boxes will be full. So if you want to propagate them and make other ones, man. Easy, nice and simple, uh, the clay balls come off like nothing, just put a bag or something on it, underneath it, when you pull them out, because you will have clay balls everywhere, guys. So, that was it for this video, hope you enjoyed it, and if you want to see other videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, 
Hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video and if you would leave a like that would help me out immensely. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.